by the numbers, Paul Skeens make this 12 start a 1-9-0 ERA, 66 in a third innings, and 89 strikeouts. Little tapper. Gonzalez going to have to hurry, and he does. Saw so Skeens thought about jumping up for it and then realized he had Nick Gonzalez. Well, after slipping and yanking the fastball down and away, he goes with the sinker. The splinker comes in at 95 miles an hour, which is better than a lot of guys' fastballs. And you see on your AHN Super Mo how easy Nick Gonzalez made that look. Just real smooth coming in, making a nice play. That wasn't an easy play. Made it pretty seamlessly. And the next pitch is bounced weakly to Cruz. And two quick outs. You gotta like this if you're a Pirates fan. It's pulled the string there. Truly remarkable what this 22 year old has been doing. Gonzalez. And Skeens loses his shoe. What happened there? I don't know. Break a shoelace or something? <laughs> he was halfway to first and all of a sudden it came off his foot. Oh, right there when he started to go, his heel slipped out. Yeah, I was watching the baseball, I didn't see that live. But right there when he got his foot yeah, down, yeah. planted and first step trying to get over to first base in case. He's angry at it. I like it. They can try to adjust all they want. Good luck. Good luck. 99. That strikeout was presented by Coppers, protecting what matters, preserving the future. 91 strikeouts. That's a four seamer. You see that spin there. Not quite backwards, but a little bit of a different axis. Like uh, there's a strikeout, and there it is. Well, maybe you can explain it for us. Yeah, when, are you, gonna, when are you going to teach us how to throw the splinker? Huh, there's that smile. Now you see the split grip right there. And see how he turns it over so it creates that sideways spin? And that's going to create a little bit of the tumbling action. Watch the pronation of his hand. Hmm. So the index finger kind of, it's like he's going to point his index finger down to the catcher. So it creates that little bit of turnover. And chopped to Triolo and the force there. Head to the bottom of the third, scoreless. I mean, it's. It's for the kids and it's for those that have the special needs and, and can't play little league, can't play high school ball, things like that. And this is a play you were talking about right here, Brown. He was off the end of the bat from Contreras and kind of an in-between hop from O'Neill. Plays it well, a little step back and then fires a rocket. Oh, I like that. That's yeah. a good arm right there. And toward left center field, Sawinski on his horse, and oh, Sawinski makes a fine running grab. Got a great jump. Donovan lined it into the gap. Sawinski there to make the play. And one, two, three, go the Cardinals. That was early in the game, too, wasn't it? Like the fourth inning. Comes back with a strikeout. This is how you want to answer uh, after giving up a solo homer. That's a splinker down and away. Nice job by Yasmani holding on to that foul tip there. Pitch count device when he wants to, he'll call it. Yeah, I haven't seen him do that every time, but I thought a minute ago I saw him go down to it. Second strike out there of Goldschmidt. It's number five on the night for Skeens. He goes back to the slider there. They got Goldschmidt in the in the third inning to lead off the third inning on strikeout. Struck him out. Gives up the homer, strikes out the next three. One nothing Cardinals. He's talking about Paul Skeens being uh, awfully mature for a, a rookie, just 22. Nick Gonzalez, the rookie, and now O'Neill Cruz. Wow, that's a pretty play. 
for a six foot seven shortstop going past Triolo. Yeah, this was a good play on multiple fronts right here. I see if we can see on the replay if O'Neill Cruz is yelling, I got it, I got it. But uh, Jared Triolo, typically you'll see the third baseman kind of come across at a different angle. And then right there hitting the deck, getting yeah. out of the way. He doesn't want to be in the way. <laughs> Look at tonight's strong performance presented by Bully Max, and it is all schemes. We're showing you right now what he has done against former MVPs this year in his rookie campaign. If you want to be the best, you certainly got to go against the best, and you got to be willing to attack the strike zone against them. And Paul Skeens against former MVPs. <laughs> well, that's as go. nonchalant as it gets. Oh, well, what's this? A little, a little baseball? Yeah, I guess I'll just toss this to first. One pitch, one out. See this right here against Contreras. Fastball right there on the outer edge. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And he has some fun with uh, O'Neill Cruz, who I guess fired that ball back to him. Oh, wow. 99 <laughs> right My there. My gosh. The 81st pitch of the night. 99, here you go. Good luck. Seven punch outs for Skeens. And now his longest outing, and this is 12 major league starts, seven and a third. And it really feels like they've got a little competition going on amongst themselves, the starting rotation. And Paul's. Oh, number eight. <laughs> well, I think the flair that he has, that we've seen him have when he's had good ball games, they've all been good ball games, but. Kind of how he empties the tank. Well, He's once again, let the crowd, 32,422, tell you what happens. To left. Get him a run or two. And he gets it done. With two strikes. Heck of a play by Wynn. Great piece of hitting by Mason Wynn right there. You got to tip your hat to him. He did not look comfortable squaring around against Paul Skeens and that 100 mile an hour fastball and everything else he has. Not able to get the bunt down with the first two strikes, but he knows what his job was right there. These are just fun to watch. I mean, it's like a video game with this guy. He can get you out in so many different ways. The splinker, the slider, the curveball. Oh, yeah. And 100 miles an hour. Eight strikeouts on the day, 20. Well, 